Hello friends, welcome to Electronic Circuit Hub. So today I'm gonna show you about the design and simulation of Chuck converter using LT Spice. So I'll explain how this circuit works and later I'll run the simulation and I'll show you the voltage and current waveforms at different points. Okay, so let us first understand what is the Chuck converter and how you can design the Chuck converter in Alta Spice, right? So if you know the basic DC transfer function of Chuck converter is V out. Let me rename this to V out. So V O V out equals to minus V in into D divided by one minus D where v in is the input voltage and d is the duty cycle what does it means that your your output voltage is negative if you see it it has the dc transfer function of minus v in into d duty time duty cycle divided by 1 minus t okay so whatever you give at your input you will get the negative output this is the first thing and the second thing is since if you see the correlation between output and input with the duty so so d divided by 1 minus d okay so if your duty cycle is less than 0.5 let me write so if you if you if your duty is less than 0.5 so your v out is less than v in and if your duty is is greater than 0.5 right 0.5 in this case your v out is greater than your v in so we'll run the simulation and i'll show if this works okay so for the moment you can remember this if your duty is less than 0.5 your v out should be less than v in but negative okay and if your duty is greater than 0.5 your v out is greater than v in but negative okay so so don't forget about this now let us understand how you can create this circuit in alta spice and let us understand so if you look at the basic circuit of chuck converter so it has some components so if you look at this l2 it is connected to the input voltage i named is in and i am giving the power supply it to it is 12 volt then i have connected one capacitor here and if you look at this junction i have connected this mosfet for switching purpose mosfet m2 and then at this junction i have connected the the capacitor in series so this capacitor is most important in the cook converter and it is bulky heavy it could be bulky heavy and expensive because you are connecting this capacitor in series with your inductor and the output so in order if you if you're looking for the higher output voltage in this case the value of this capacitor could be heavy bulky and expensive right so to be if you are going to select this capacitor c3 you have to be careful now if you look at this point this is mosfet and this is capacitor again to the capacitor i have connected one diode d1 this is the short key diode you can use because you are driving your mosfet with the high switching frequency and the, again you need one inductor and this is the output capacitor c2 and the load so this basically if you talk about the components the l2 m2 c3 d1 and l1 are the major component in the chuck converter okay and that is how you can design and create the chuck converter uh, so if you look at any application note any research note you can find these components l2 m2 c3 d1 and l1 right so now 
so now let me show you the input voltage so this is 12 volt i am driving this chuck converter with the 12 volt so it's a just dc 12 volt right and if you look at the mosfet gate driving so i'm driving this mosfet let me show you with the pulse of 10 volt the amplitude is 10 volt and rise time is 1 nanosecond fall time is 1 nanosecond and the t on is duty divided by fsw where fsw is switching frequency and the t period is 1 divided by fsw where fsw is switching frequency so if you look at here i have defined the parameter for duty and the parameter for switching frequency so you can define by using this dot op spice directive you can define any parameter here so you have to go dot op and you can define the spice directive here so i have already defined so dot param d equals to 0 0.8 that means i'm assigning the duty to d and here dot param fsw equals to 500 kilohertz so that means i'm defining the frequency 500 kilohertz frequency to this fsw and the driving frequency for this cook converter is 500 kilohertz now i'm gonna run the simulation and i'll show you the different waveforms here in order to run the simulation you have to go at this simulate button and edit simulation command for the moment my stop time is 10 milliseconds so i keep it 10 millisecond click on ok go at this run button click on the run button and so it's saying this is v out there is an unknown thing v out okay so let me this is you might be your error i just rename this so i'll delete this now let me run the simulation okay it's okay now you can go at window tile window vertically and maybe so that you can view your schematic and uh, the waveform together so this is your input voltage you can see here this is 12 volt it's still running okay now i'm gonna show you the the gate voltage let me show you gate to source voltage so this has some frequency right so let me show you the pulse here how it looks like okay so at the moment see we don't have much we don't have good rise and fall time can you see here this that i uh, at the moment we have the higher duty if you look at this but i still see there is a problem in the rise and fall time but it's okay let's see how this converter work right so this is go about window tile window vertically again so this is your gate to source voltage now let me show you the the current across this inductor how it looks like okay so if you look at the current across this inductor l2 so i see it's why very high current it is drawing and it is around 27 peak current is 27 maximum and here i see 25 okay so let me show you the voltage across inductor how it looks like okay so this is the basically the voltage across inductor if you look at okay let me show you the voltage across drain to source okay so if you look at this is the voltage across drain to source in in the green and this one is the voltage across inductor and let me show you the current flowing through this capacitor that is how it looks like your current flowing through this capacitor and now let me show you the how the voltage looks like at this capacitor okay so let me delete the current first okay so this is the voltage across the capacitor you can see and let me show you the current flowing through this diode so it looks like that you see the ramp up something the current flow through diode is very high it's around 33 32 amps and now let me show you the current flowing through this inductor l1 and if you look at here the current flowing through this inductor is 5.4 ampere maximum peak okay so so guys now let me show you the output voltage okay so go ahead window tile window vertically and let me show you the output voltage okay how it looks like okay so you can see here your output voltage is 54.87 so if i show to you 
this point at the moment our duty cycle is d equals to 0 0.8 in this in this case our output is our output is ic 54.87 so we also have the theoretical value which i calculated from the dc transfer function so v equals to minus v in into d divided by 1 minus d so let me check so if you look at the theoretical value and your simulated value here your theoretical value is saying your output should be 48 volt around here but in your simulation result it is showing 55 volt it is quite bit higher so we have to figure it out how is but that's okay let me show you the the current across here the current flowing through the load is around uh, minus 4.8 amps and let me show you the power here so the power if you look at this point your power is around here it's how much uh, your power is 250 watt so at the moment you are driving drying very high power and your power is 250 watt using cook converter right now what i'm gonna do is i'll change the duty here i'll change the duty so in spite of using 0.8 let me use 0.3 for this simulation okay let me run the simulation again and show to you okay how it looks like it is ramping up so let me delete everything for now uh, i should have first that's okay that's three point let us see so your simulation is running but what i see in the green is your output voltage v out if you look at this point so your v out is how much your v out in green is uh, 5.69 and your theoretical value is how much 5.1 okay so in this case you are seeing higher voltage than your theoretical voltage but in this case your your current flowing through the load is 477 milliampere okay so so now you can see also see for current flowing through the inductor maybe that how this looks like right let me show to you for this your this is your current flowing through the inductor it's around maximum peak of 0 0.9 amps okay so i hope you guys have understood the design and simulation of Chuck converter so how this circuit works and how you can create your simulation file in lt spice this converter i'm designing at the moment is open loop system this is not a closed loop system right and i haven't checked much the component rating but if you are trying to implement in the prototypes you have to check the component rating for each and every component you have to size your components okay so i would say thank you for watching this video if you have any question feel free to ask me in the comment section